Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Coffee Chronicle. This is another Coffee Co- Co- Chronicle. Pardon me, I've not been uploading video often because we've been having light issues in this. If rain for pool for if rain for pool for why I'm caught. You know how Nigeria is. So welcome to another episode of this video series. My name is Maria Habila, the one and only Northern Nigeria lifestyle vlogger. I vlog about Northern Nigeria culture. Anything you need to know about Northern Nigeria, come to my YouTube channel. And you're gonna get it okay if you don't see what you're looking for just ask me i'm going to do it for you you know why because you are the best and because i am the best <laughs> i don't know how that sounds but yeah welcome if you've not subscribed subscribe down below hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i upload videos so today i'm going to talk about something that i feel is going to shake the table is going to jigger the table it's going to jigger the table let's get right into it a life skill true or yes true and yes cooking is a life skill it is not something that should be limited to only women and i'm talking about this thing from experience okay what is cooking cooking is the ability to mix food and eat prepare something you can eat that is cooking prepare something you eat in this lockdown i want to ask all those bachelors and spacers that don't know how to cook how do you cope Restaurants are not open. Eateries are not open. Mama foods are not open. Roadside food, busbuli ba. Eh, yeah, that is say akara. She no open. The person that is to do masa, do not open. Everybody is in their houses. How do you eat? Like, if you tell me, how do you eat? Do you so gari every day? Because I know gari is something that everybody can just do. I know some people cannot even make indomie. I know someone who cannot even. As little as indomie is cannot boil and prepare indomie just the normal indomie you don't have to put sardine and geisha or egg and a egg and a um, sausage this one just boil indomie they will burn it in fact it will soak I know people like that how do you cope during this lockdown actually those who are not even at home maybe somebody like me now I work in Kano what if I was still back in Kano and then there's a lockdown how do I feed if I don't know how to cook? This is a question for you to answer. First and foremost, cooking is a life skill because you need it to survive. You need food. Food is one of the basic essentials of life. Food is number one before even clothing and then shelter. You need to eat to survive. If you cannot prepare what you need to survive, you are leaving your entire ability to eat to somebody. Like, whatever I give me, I chop. <sighs> one of the things i want to bring to your notice during this thing is the fact that most guys back then in school i i, I finished from abu so i'm going to give you guys first-hand experience there's this thing they call cooler ministry okay girls who cook and take to guys i never did that for once you know what okay i think i did it once for chenemi and pastor harry once yeah i did that once and that was one rice that i decided to cook from the depth of my heart but then I didn't do it because of anything. I just did it because I wanted to. I know they can cook. Okay. So let's even get it straight. But the fact that some guys honestly don't know how to do anything. As I beans. Like I know guys in boys who stay. They cook, almost every room. Every day they cook beans. Because that's like literally the only thing they know how to cook. Beans. Beans. Indomie. Beans. A lot of guys just have to date girls. They find themselves dating people that they would necessarily not date all because they need somebody to cook for them truth is in school we are students you get broke it's not every day you want to go to pepsi or um or um frizzlers or any one of these places to buy food and eat sometimes you need to manage resources and in managing resources meaning means in managing resources it boils down to the fact that you have to cook for your own self so how do you do that? 
for a fact a lot of guys go into relationships that they do not want because of food just because the girl has, will cook for them and bring for them another thing i want to bring to notice is eating is important food is important the person that cooks it is more important there are some people that if you enter their kitchen, you're not able to breathe because, like, they have jam jam everything together. If you see the kitchen, you just be wondering, like, I said the girls will stay, and there are some girls that by the time they are cooking, the, their table is so messed up. I know of a girl like that. I'm not going to call names because she watches my video, but she will know herself because that girl literally don't know how to do jack. The first day she cooked spaghetti, I'm like, say what? And she was married. Only that her husband was not with her. I'm just wondering, like, this one grew up in the house. Maybe because she was the last one, everybody just had to just forget. Like, the sisters were cooking and the brothers were cooking and she wasn't cooking. They did her no good. The person who cooks your meal is important because it, it will not matter the kind of disease that comes into your body. Like, the kind of maggot, the kind of chuta that will enter your body. Some people's kitchen. It wasn't to write home about. I'm serious. So the person food is important, eating is important, but the person who cooks it is more important. That is why you need to learn to make your own meals. Hey, I want to share this story as a pointer to like what I really saw firsthand in my life growing up. I know of a lady who mm, I'm just going to share the story anyways. I know of someone or I've heard of someone who had an accident okay person was involved in an accident the person broke arm and leg and the person was bedridden and the person was discharged because like you know how to you manage fractures by just staying in one place and just there's POP so there's no point staying in the hospital and just occupying space go home and they are home the husband don't know how to prepare Jack and this person has like six children and there's really nobody to come because, I mean, people are managing resources here. You have six children. You don't want to bring another person to come and add to the population to congest the world. Do you understand? And then, how would they feed? Was a problem I was asking myself because this man don't know how to do anything. The woman would have to carry her crutches, go to the kitchen and cook. One time she fell, she just off the gas and went to sleep because she couldn't take it no more. I cannot go with when I'm sick, go to the kitchen to prepare meals for people who can on a norm learn to make meals for themselves. I'm supposed to be taken care of. But here I'm but here I will, I will now be managing to cook for myself and for them. That is unfair. In this life here, eh, nobody's praying to be sick, nobody's praying to um be be a liability or be vegetable, okay? Be in a vegetable vegetative state, okay? Or not be able to do anything but we find ourselves in situations that we cannot actually explain and we don't wish for ourselves what do we do in that time especially when you're married who cooks for your children when your wife is sick or when your wife even just dies you know after they finish mourning and everybody and your husband has to rush up to marry your wife because he cannot even cook for himself for how long would he continue to eat outside and that's the reason why me i feel people just say it's because of sex that men rush into another marriage after their wife die that's a lie yes it's part of it but that's not the main reason that man needs to eat and that's one of the reasons why he's marrying again because like if i just think twice yeah the man has to be satisfied sexually but who cooks for him help me by me help me who will cook for him you'll be eating outside every day sometimes you just go to eat trees i eat out a lot for those who know me, I, I like I eat out a lot. But there are times when I don't eat, I'm like, Maya, you can make something better. And instead of it to come and spend this kind of money, you can spend less and eat something healthier and better. That's God, I can cook. But for those who cannot cook, you are living your life on the at the feet of those who just decide to jam mede, mede and give it to it. And you just have to pay. If whether you like the food or not, you pay. Hmm. because you have pride doesn't mean you should not cook pride everybody has pride okay everybody has ego you understand everybody's ego needs to be massaged Mila, I feel you. 
I don't bloody care what anybody has to say, but everybody's ego has been massaged. And in doing that, cooking doesn't reduce it. Cooking doesn't disturb your ego. You can start to say, in fact, for there's there's some interesting just like here about parents who cook for their children. Like, oh, well, today my father said he wants to cook for us. I'm like, hey, your father wants to cook for you. That's interesting. As much as cooking is important. As much as eating is important, cooking is important. So there's no disparity. Don't come and say, ah, cooking is different from eating. It's a lie. They are both important. So my mother once said something, and I'm going to just paraphrase and say, to nourish oneself, like, how do you fully, totally surrender the ability to nourish yourself at somebody's feet? All because you have ego, you have pride, you are a man, masculinity, da da da, all those things. He's learned to cook for yourself, okay? I just, bachelors right now, I'm just pitying people low because ah, I want to take their manage. <sighs> Please, cooking is a life skill. You need to learn it. It's very important. How about times when you go coffee like this now? How do you eat? Like, if you're a bachelor and you don't know how to cook, can you please be honest enough and say in the comment section how you've been managing whether I've been drinking Gary from morning to night, making conflicts, making cereals for morning to night. Is that how you've been coping? Like, share your thoughts in the comment section. But I say, um, I don't know how you guys are coping, but you guys have a coping method, coping mechanism. So let us know in the comment section. But my own honest opinion is cooking is a life skill that every individual should get. Because you eat, you should learn how to cook because you eat. It's as simple as that. One of the various importance of cooking service, you can just like, surprise your partner, your spouse, like, ah, let me just, you know, let me give you a treat. Or then the other one is doing younger. I don't feel like cooking now. Oga, go into the kitchen, prepare something and eat. You should not be, because that frustration will just set in. Every day you're waiting for somebody to decide what you eat before you eat. I pity you. I pure you. This is going to be the end of this video. Ah, I've been ranting today, but like cooking is important. Cooking is very important. Everybody needs to learn. I tell my brothers because I have like three solid boys after me. Okay. I tell them learn to cook because if you go to university, me, I will not be sending you money or my mom and dad will not be sending you money like extra 100k to feed in the month, like to buy food from eateries. You got to learn how to cook. We are going to buy you stove. We are going to buy you pots. We are going to buy you spoons. We are going to buy you blender and cutleries. Yes, you're going to learn how to cook. And I say that to them. So please teach this upcoming generation because right now the generation we are entering right now eh, the revolution and a lot of girls who cannot cook and they have intentions of getting married and they are going to get married how would their husbands cook we know that they have people who you can order food from excuse me you have people who you can order food from and do some stuff like other soups other we do have to order swallow as well i've never seen them ordering like one bucket of eba or one bucket of pounded yam you can go out and eat yeah other soups and all that but there's time there are times you just need to make home meals that's what makes a home having to eat and make meals in your house it just brings this communion like you just commune in a way that you cannot even explain am i making sense here yes i know i'm making sense ladies speak your mind tell these guys that they, le they need to learn how to cook because they are going to some of them are going to end up with women who cannot cook and i don't know how their lives are going to be i don't know how they will feed their children they're going to live Nourishing their children in the hands of house girls. Okay. For me, oh, it's important. I don't know what you think, but I want to hear it in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Eh, bye-bye. Eh, bye-bye. Eh, bye-bye. Come on. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Eh, bye, -bye. bye.